Okay, in the last video, we finished our backspacer. The only thing we really had left was assembly and sharpening the blade and blade finishing if I was going to put a finish on it, but I decided not to on this just because it fit. Um, so as far as the assembly, I used epoxy to glue the back together with the backspacer and some red um, screws that really looked nice on it epoxied all together the um, pivot screw that we used was just some scrap um, parts that we had but that was pretty easy just put it through tightened it up and took it to the belt sander to um, sand off the excess screw hanging out the end of the nut there's just something strange about this knife it really started taking on a life of its own The more I worked on it, the more ominous, the more strange the feeling got, like something was about to happen. The next clip we have here is just me um, sharpening the blade up, going through three different grits of sanding stones. We have a coarse, medium, and fine stone. I didn't get too much footage. Um, I did a lot off of the camera just because the um, dog kept bumping the tripod and not letting me film at the kitchen table. These little handheld sharpening systems are really good. I have a Smith one, I think Smith Systems or something, and a Lansky one. Um, I really like them. They put a really good edge on them. I've seen a lot of people modify them to make them um, more stable or in one spot, kind of like a wicked edge or something like that. But I find even just holding it in your hand, you can uh, feel what's going on and get good results from that. I think uh, it would be nice to have some nicer stones or something eventually. But the ones that come with them are pretty decent also. If you're a bum like me on a budget, 100%. These are the way to go. Well, that's it. That pretty much finishes the build up. But then the other morning, I hear a strange noise. Mm-hmm. 